Happy Wednesday, everyone. Hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome back to a brand new I Rate Your Teams. For cheap, fast and reliable FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, check out u7buy.com and use code HABER to get yourself 5% off all of your orders. Now, little disclaimer, there will obviously be a lot of uh, negative comments and ratings on this video and will be maybe for a few days or weeks, however long this is going to last. Um, unfortunately, Despite me really not wanting to get involved in any of this, there was a lot of drama that happened um, between me and another YouTuber. I'm not going to name names or, or bring any anyone into this or, you know, try and make this bigger than what it is. Um, but that's why you'll see a lot of stuff in the comments. Uh, just know I made a video on my second channel, link in the description to my second channel, where I debunked every single point that was made um, and prove that literally everything was just complete lies or fabrication uh, if you want to check that out check that out if you don't if you're not interested in drama i, I fully respect you and appreciate you um i'm going to do videos like normal and pretend nothing's happening because i'll be honest with you i just want to make fifa content i don't want to have drama with anyone i appreciate all of you that show love and support to the channel and let's jump straight into rating some teams starting off with jacob's team he says first is how i start the second is in game not really looking for improvements in the minute but an overall opinion and a rate for my team uh would be nice if you do want to suggest any improvements have around 100k in the bank keep it the good work bro let's check it out mate oh okay wow you got that red giovinco now although that's obviously not a premier league red when when the reds wear out and stuff like that it's actually a really good red to have i think that the ant-man um is actually a really really good card in game I used him a couple of times off the bench uh, in the weekend league because I did pack him in a um, in a 100k pack and I wanted to try him before I sold him. My thoughts are very mixed with him. Uh, I think he's very quick, fantastic dribbling and really good shooting. However, sometimes I feel like agility and balance is not everything in this game. That you do need some strength with the card. You do need a little bit of height and a little bit of, you know, tough and tumble. Um, and he just doesn't have that, unfortunately. So I would say that the card is actually fantastic if you're a really good dribbler of the ball and a really good uh, player that, that you know, you don't get close to defenders and stuff like that. It'll be a fantastic card for you. Uh, overall, fairly mixed. But let me tell you right now, he scored some very nice goals for me and he played pretty well at striker. In terms of this team, overall rating for me, I'd have to give an 8.5. Uh, plays, I think you could definitely improve one in the future. Um, I'd say over Mars and Gold Tuso. Uh, I say Gold Tuso because I feel like he's in everyone's squad. Um, he's just the, the go-to icon swap, I feel like. So I just call him Gold Tuso because it's like, I don't know. I just thought it was funny, really. Um, the defense is really good, though. That Regulion card looks absolutely incredible. Um, Ramos, obviously fantastic. Beltane, fantastic. The midfield, uh, you know, Goretzka's amazing as well. And I think that uh, Givinko is fantastic. Boltano is really good. And so is uh, Rodrigo. So, yeah, I would say 8.5 out of 10, mate. Really, really nice team. The next one coming from Ilias, who says, Hey, bro, everything, like, sorry, everyone is untradeable. I have 200,000 coins. I'm going to play the second pick in game. I'm willing to save up, keep up the grind. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Uh, let's check it out so you're rocking a in-game a 4-1-2-1-2 wide that's actually really interesting um what would i do about this what would i do about this okay so uh the weak links in my opinion hamdala whilst he might be a decent card in my opinion could be improved uh in the future i think you can go with an icon striker up there that'd be a lot better um i think that i i think zola is more of a cam uh litman i'm just not a big fan of this year so i think that you could obviously Im improve uh by putting Lo Zola at Cam and then uh, another icon up top with uh, with whichever icon you end up replacing Hamdala with. One thing I will say as well is obviously we've got to, we're going to get rewards over the next three or four weeks with some major league reds in. So to be honest, you could get something absolutely insane in rewards that will improve Hamdala. Maybe you get gold two or gold gold one this weekend, uh, and from Bundesliga tops you get yourself I don't know a, a, a um what's the guy's name? Oh my god, I forgot his name. Halland, there you go, Halland, at Erling Halland. Uh, that's me assuming Bundesliga Tots has come out this Friday. It might not be, it might be a different Tots, but that could definitely happen and could change your squad up completely. So I would say uh, keep grinding some foot champs and some squad battles and some rivals, maybe not squad battles if you don't want to, but rivals definitely, um, and get yourself some rewards to change up your team. I think rewards are definitely the best, the best thing to use to change up your team these days. Next one coming from Luke. Mbappe is the only tradable. I've got 200,000 coins for upgrades. Keep up the good videos. Hey, I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much for the support. Okay. Uh, good good setup here. Uh, Lampard's a very good box-to-box. -box. Fred's a very good defensive centre mid. Uh, Bakayoko is an incredible CDM. You've got a very good back line. Could try and upgrade your back line to a team of the season. Uh, Wambasaka. Let me see who your left back is and where he's linking. Um, we don't really have... Do we have any other French left backs that realistically he could use? Not really. I mean, Ferl and Mendy, but he'd have his foot muscle. So really, is there any point? Probably not. Um, yeah, I mean, I would say... At the minute for this team, I wouldn't really improve much. I would just say try and get the better version of Wan-Bissaka. Very good team in my opinion. Uh, the next one coming from Aaron. 
Uh, oh, by the way, I just wanted to quickly just say something now. If you guys can't get console screenshots, that's totally fine. I actually rate all my Twitch subscribers teams over on Twitch. Uh, if you guys want to go and follow me on Twitch, link in the description to that. Live on stream, I, I rate my Twitch subs teams. So if you haven't got uh, the capabilities to send me a HD screenshot, then you can, I, I rate these screenshots uh, on Twitch as well to my Twitch subs. So if you want to go and check me out on Twitch, you can do that. Um, and that would be awesome. So next one coming from Aaron. Hey, Haber, not here to ask for improvements. Just wondering what you'd rate out of my team out of 10. However, do you have any suggestions if I have a million coins? Okie dokie. Um, let me have a look. So this team, in my opinion, is a solid nine out of 10. In fact, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. You've got one of the best back lines on the whole game. Um, team of the season, VVD and team of the year, Delict are fantastic together. Uh, you know, Trent's phenomenal right back. Alexandra's an end game left back. You have a phenomenal, uh, midfield partnership as well. Hendo is a phenomenal CDM in this game. He's actually really, really good. Balak, I've never tried his moments card, but I'd imagine he's very good as well. And you've got a really, really good attack. So I'd give this team, you know, I'd give it a 9.7, actually. I want to, I want to, you know, give my, give my rating even better. I want to give it a 9.7. The only things I would improve on in this team, moments loud up, I think you could improve for someone better. And I think you could probably improve De Gea to someone better as well. De Gea off chem, I'm not the biggest fan of. Um, I think a Van der Sar could definitely be used there to make, uh, to make ends meet, to, to you know, to make the uh, the linkage happen. I just don't think goalkeepers are off cam are a really good idea. Next team is coming from Clarko, who says, Hi, Haber, can you rate my team? All untradeable, but Kante, Ellison, and Mbappe. I've got 40,000 coins and I love the videos. Um, if you're playing a five back in game, that's interesting. For me, with five backs, I, actually, yeah, I mean, I can't really see how you wouldn't play a five back because you don't really have what I would say is a CDM playing center back. Uh, for me, with a five back, the moment you go one nil down, I think it makes life really difficult because it's quite hard to build up play, in my opinion, in a five back. I think that you, you find yourself struggling to um, to build up play fantastically, especially when you're on the back foot. If someone, say, goes drop back one depth whilst you're in a five back, it makes life really, really difficult to, um, to, to battle against it, in my opinion. So what I would say is definitely try and figure out a formation, like maybe a full one, two, one, two narrow, so you can keep the same sort of midfield and, and shape. Uh, that would be helpful if you go on the back foot. I would assume you probably already have that down anyway, because I see you've got Bellowin on the bench as well, um, as that moment Socrates. So I'm guessing that you already have something in the bag for that anyway. So if you do, then fair play. Um, what I would say, though, the back line is very good. Soyun is a very underrated card, in my opinion. Uh, Allison's not bad. I tried Allison. He was all right. Goalkeepers are pretty similar, in my opinion, in terms of, of how they are this year. I think that either they make incredible saves or they don't. It depends on the game, in my opinion. I don't think that... I think that the only thing I would say is off-cam goalies usually make a big difference for me. And I don't always see the, the, the point in having a special goalkeeper, but that's just my opinion. I think that your backline is good. I think Laporte is solid. Uh, a little bit slow, but as a middle centre-back, you know, you don't need someone ridiculously fast. I think Ogbonna is a really, really difficult player to play against. I see you've got Fuchs and Trent as well. One thing that might be a really cool idea, actually, it's something I just thought of then, you could grab that Regulion card and get him on A chemistry if you link him to Kaka as your centre mid. Now, obviously, it means that I think... Uh, no, yeah, maybe Kante might be off chemistry, actually. Um, but... You maybe could fit him in over Fuchs. And then Fuchs could even play in as a centre-back, for example. That might even work. Um, just just a small suggestion. But apart from that, no, I think the team is really solid, mate. I think you've got a very good uh, strike force as well. The next one coming from Sam, who says, Hi, Haber. I switched Vardy and James in game and also Rudy and Gattuso. Maguire, Gattuso and, and Son are all tradable. I have 70,000 coins and keep up the great vids, mate. I appreciate it. Yo, thank you very much, dude. I appreciate the support. Check it out. That in DD card, by the way, really, really good. I feel for anyone that didn't do the SBC. He's phenomenal. Um, 86 Maguire. Interesting. It might not be the worst idea in the world to do the league SBC and get yourself the team of the season Maguire. I actually really like the card in game. I think he's phenomenal. He actually scored a beauty of a winning goal for me against someone in foot champions this weekend and although he's a bit of a fridge on wheels he's a phenomenal fridge on wheels his agility and balance is very very bad in my opinion uh so when turning he's very slow but honestly when he's running in a straight line he's pretty quick his passing's good his defending is really really good and his physical is top notch so i would say overall a really good card now 250k is quite a lot to pay for an untradeable card however you do get a lot of packs back from the premier league sbc which make it a lot cheaper um you get mega packs rare election players packs things like that i remember when i did it i packed myself two team of the seasons overall i did the mass and it cost me about 111k you can even get luckier than me and and do it for profit you know so i would say is that definitely a good idea to upgrade that harry Maguire card 
for sure. Um, and then I'd maybe just say work on upgrading Vardy, work on upgrading Dan James to a better, better version, work on upgrading, oh, sorry, a better player, not a better version, work on upgrading Son to a better version, and then Gattuso to a better, better version, really. If you've still got Icon Swap tokens left, which I don't know if you have or not because you've got Puyo, but if you do, maybe get it from Icon Swaps. That could be a decent shout. Next team from Ryan, who says, uh, he says, Ryan the God, what a legend. There's what, what's up the God Haver? <laughs> wow. Um, keep up the good work and never give up. This is my team. Mbappe is the only player in the team that is tradable. I got Fekir, Parejo, and Benzema in the league upgrades, which, by the way, are absolutely insane. I've had Griezmann. I've had four Cruces, uh, two Testagans, all black. Um... Who else have had Odegaard? I've had some incredible pack balls from them. Uh, it goes, what are your thoughts and opinions about this team? Have a good say day, sir. Let's check it out. So I think he's just looking really for my, my rating overall. Um, so I would say everything about this team is very good apart from Parejo. I think he hasn't got the pace. Now, I know his base card stat is, is actually a decent amount of pace. Uh, let me have a quick look. It's like 70-something, right? It's like 73 or 76. He's got 90 <laughs> acceleration, but only 64 sprint speed in game. In my opinion... I would, uh, I would bun this card off, to be honest. I wouldn't go for this card as a CDM. I think you could get, definitely get better options. How are you starting him? So he gets a French link and a Spanish link. What could you do here differently, is what I ask. I'd tell you what you could do. Mm, that's a good shout, actually. You could go Brazilian. You could move Vinicius out to the... Uh, or you could move, move Fekir out to right mid. Vinicius to right cam. Puts Mbappe on eight chemistry, but then it allows you to get full chemistry on the centre mid. Or you could put Vinicius out on right mid and get full chemistry on Fekir, whichever one you prefer. Um, but I think you go Brazilian then as a centre mid. Now, in terms of Brazilians, there's a few. I mean, there's a new Gustavo card that just came out that looks really good as a CDM. Um, 200,000 coins for the SBC is a little bit much, but in my opinion, pretty worth it. Uh, look at the team as well. That Eder Militao card is going to be one of the best centre-backs in the entire game. If we have a quick look at this card's stats... I know it's a little bit pricey as well. Uh, it's like, what, 500k? But this is a centre-back you'll never have to upgrade in your in your team ever again. That is literally your centre-back for the rest of the game. That card is redonkulous. It is a phenomenal card, in my opinion. And I think that he's going to be insane for everybody's teams. I am really looking forward to using this card. Uh, so I said, if you've got the coins, do it. I think this card is also not bad. It's quite pricey, though, at 240k. I think that... Honestly, if you've got the 240k, just save to get the other 260 to get yourself the uh, the better version. But if, you, if you've got the coins for this card, it's going to be one of the best centre-backs in the entire game. And you can even partner him up with Ramos and get yourself the strong link there and use Ramos and him at centre-back, which will be phenomenal. Like the right-back Ramos, I mean. Uh, but the rest of the team is, is really, really good. Your back line is top, top, top notch. Your attack line is top, top, top notch. I just think that Parejo could be improved in this setup, mate. Uh, where were we? Okay, so the next one is, hey, but I rate your teams. There's uh, tradables are Salah, Cancelo, and Van Dyke with about 50k to spend. Blanc, Prime, Micron Pack, and Hernandez mid. Third is what I play. I'm very close to doing. Uh, sorry, third is, third is what I'm very close to doing. Love the vids. All right, bro. I got you, man. Let me tell you if I like this or not. You know what? Instantly dub. Instantly, that's a dub. That is instantly a, a really, really... One thing I would say, wait for, for La Liga Reds. On the off chance, off on the very, very slim chance, you pack yourself a team in the season for run. That's right there, right in there. You've got yourself a team of season for and left center back. Even if even if that doesn't happen, if you manage to do any upgrades, there's a very slim chance. Now, I would also say maybe over Tots PK, you might even be worth going with Varane's normal card if you prefer pace. I think PK is a little bit slow, but Varane's normal card's got a bit more pace, but I think PK's got way better in-game stats than Varane's normal card. You're cool, but I would say it's a good setup, but I would recommend it because that Tots Tiago card is legit, man. He is... He is the gravy. He really is the gravy. Next one coming from Ben, who says, Hey, I have no coins, but can save up. One Bazaka is tradable. What could I do to improve? Great content. Let me check it out, mate. I appreciate the support, dude. Let's have a look. Uh, first things first, I would say Regulion at left back, for sure. I know he's only going to be on 8 chem, but I think he's worth it. The upgrade is massive. This Regulion card, I, I, I can't stress this enough how good this card looks. I'm surprised he give it as an objective. I thought they'd give Yuri Berichiche the objective card and this card the team of the season, but this is a phenomenal card, man. A 92 rated left back without even a chem star. You put an anchor on him, it's 96. You put a shadow on him, it's 96. Um, he's a 97 with a backbone on. Uh, you know, 97 with the Guardian on as well. Like, this card is absolutely phenomenal in my opinion. One of the best left backs on the entire game. I think he's definitely end game and for free, really good value. So I would say get this card, get him in the team straight away. You guys can't see obviously the bottom right, but you can kind of guess who it is really. Um, Limited the CDM, 
Not entirely sure about that one, bro. I think you're going to leak goals with Lippmann and Fred at CDMs. Now, the reason why is because, first of all, Lippmann, um, high medium work rates isn't going to help. 37 defending is also not going to help. Then if we look at Fred as your other CDM, partnering him, uh, and we look at we look at Fred's stats, high, high, it basically means both your uh, CDMs are going to be jolting forward, trying to get involved in the attack. And it's going to cost you a lot of goals, in my opinion. Um, so I would say try and get someone other than Lippmann. Maybe even a Gattuso, someone like that. Um, but yeah, definitely Gattuso and Regulion. And then just upgrading plays in your team is my shout for this team. The next one comes from Ashton, who says, This is my team. I've got 150k spare. Everyone's untradeable except for Furl and Mendy. However, I'm looking to replace Trippier. Uh, love the series. Keep up the good work. Hope you're well. Hey, appreciate it, man. Right, yeah. I mean, first things first, you can save up to get Timo Season 1 Basaka, I think is the obvious option there, for sure. Um, looking at this team, I do like this team a lot. I really like the link between Saar and uh, and Cyprian. Uh, Valbuena is a good shout as well. Would it not make more sense to swap Valbuena and, and Cyprian, though? Because then Cyprian starts on full chem and so does Valbuena. And then obviously Val Mbappe is going to be off chemistry, but... Yeah, I suppose actually Mbappe, like, would you rather have Mbappe or Valbuena? I, I didn't actually think twice there. Obviously, Mbappe's going to be off chemistry. Yeah, my bad. Um, I would say the same as what I've been saying. Wait for some rewards to see if you can improve this team. I see why you've got Nick Pope off chem, although I wouldn't recommend it. I, I, I do see that you don't really have much of a choice, realistically. There isn't anyone else that would really work there. I, I get that. So I would say wait for rewards to see if you can improve your team. Who knows? You might get a phenomenal midfielder, a phenomenal attacker, and it's going to change the whole setup. But I think that right side is absolutely godly. If you could save up to get Tots, Calvin Phillips, that might be absolutely phenomenal as well. Um, and I wouldn't really... If you get Timothy to one at right back, I wouldn't change anything about that right trio from uh, right centre-back, right back, and right centre-back. I think it would be a phenomenal little trio there as well. And I just upgrade the rest of the team around them. Uh, and obviously, this is how you play in game. I appreciate that you sent it to me this way as well. If you guys are going to send me uh, your instructions as opposed to anything else, that would be great. If you send it to me on this page so that it's on the left side uh, for me or the, the, the right side, I guess, uh, over there, basically. Um, so that obviously, you guys can see it all. That That's amazing. So, um, yeah, I agree with how you've done it, to be honest. Um, Valbuena got more pace than Lippmann. Whoever's got more pace, put them wide. But it might even be it might be Valbuena over Lippmann there. Uh, the rest of the team is, is a really, really good team though, mate. And the last one for the episode is going to be from Liam, who says, Everyone untradeable apart from Reno and Ramos. I need Malqui Tots. Uh, sorry, I need Malqui to get Tots. I respect that. 108k more if Info Moreno sells. All right. This guy has an untradeable Ronaldo. Wait, let me just double check. He said everything. Everything untradeable. Yeah, he has an untradeable 99 team this season, Ronaldo. That's absolutely mental, bro. Congratulations. Um... I like the team. I would say, huh. Where, like, so you're playing Saul and Gattuso as CDMs. Okay, I respect that. I understand the whole Malky situation as well. Shame he didn't get to his foot birthday, but obviously, high insight, you know, it sucks. Um, he did get a nice foot birthday card a long time ago. Uh, sorry, a, a footmas card, not a foot birthday card. Um, I like this team a lot, though. I think this team is very, very good. Uh, I wouldn't change much of this team, to be honest. Um, yeah, just, just upgrade where you want to upgrade. I give this team a solid 8 out of 10. I think that your attack is going to be amazing. Your defense just needs a bit of work, but obviously you already know that. Uh, good looking rewards and stuff as well, and hopefully you get some decent reds to improve the team. Anyway, lads, that's it for this episode. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below. Ignore all the hate and the negativity and stuff like that. That's going to be floating around for the next few days. I didn't want any drama. I didn't create any drama. It just happened, you know. Like I said, if you really want to see my video, it's on my second channel. I didn't want to put it on my main because I know you guys didn't want to see all that bullshit. Um... So yeah, but thank you all for watching. I appreciate all the uh, epic support and the likes and all that love. Uh, and I appreciate all of you guys. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you lads later.